Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Ratch. If you're new here, I've got an Instagram account, a TikTok account, and a YouTube channel. So today's video is all about spring and summer trends that are going to be flattering and wearable for mid-sized bodies or anybody who has a bum and tum and you don't want to be wearing too many trends. So a rule that I like to do is 80-20. I try not to do too many trends because they come in and out so quickly and then you're left with a wardrobe full of different items that are out of fashion and you've got nothing to wear. So as somebody as a brand owner, I own my own brand, Ela Style. I make basics that are made to last and you can mix and match them in so many different ways I'm actually wearing one right now this is one of our bodysuits I just put the shirt over the top just for a different look but I love basics basics are so so good especially as a mid-sized body or a curvaceous body to have outfits to build around and not just think oh I've worn this dress to death because it feels flattering like having basics in your wardrobe jeans bodysuit skirts there's loads of different things I can share with you over on my mid-size playlist if you are somebody who is a bit clueless when it comes to buying basics. However, this video is all about trends and there is quite a few trends this year that I am so thankful for. There is also the dreaded 2000s low-rise trend coming back in and that is such a no-no for me. As a 32-year-old woman, I am not doing that trend again. It was traumatic enough the first time when I was 15 and 16 years old, so I will not be including that in this video. However, some of the trends I'm going to share with you today, I have put together outfits for in a really flattering way that I think are so, so amazing to be coming through into this spring summer for mid-sized bodies. So let's get going. I just want to make things right. Number one I want to share with you is maxi skirts. Wow, maxi pleated skirts, beautiful for mid-sized bodies. If you are somebody petite like me, I'm five foot two, they can be quite drowned in. So this one I've picked up from Nasty Girl is the perfect length. You can still see my feet underneath, so it's not going to be too long where it's dragging on the floor. I think if you're petite like me, you're going to really struggle if the skirt is on the floor. This length I think is perfect. So I dressed up or dressed down, and I just felt so special and classy in this outfit. Bodysuit is ELR style and the skirt is Nasty Girl and then I've teamed it up with my YSL beach bag and some ISO first shoes and I just think it just looks such a classic look that you can wear day or night on holiday in the UK. Like when the weather starts to change and spring really does hit, there's going to be nothing nicer than being able to wear a maxi pleated skirt. Another trick that I love to do if you are somebody with bigger thighs like me is get a skin coloured cycling short. You can get them from Boohoo, Primark, loads of stuff like that, even like shapewear ones. And I wear them as chafe shorts. So if, if you're somebody that walks a lot or you're on holiday and you sweat a lot, then you will definitely get chafing if you are not wearing some chafe shorts or shorts or if you're wearing skirts. So I like to put like a really lightweight cycling short. I at first do some really lightweight cycling shorts in white and cream and um, I'll link them down below as well but they are so good if you are somebody who has that issue and you want to still wear really nice floaty skirts this spring summer then number two is such a trend but it was also around last year so I feel like this like bold color trend is going to continue for a little while and I'm, I'm I'm converted I can't I can't say I'm not I'd love a bold color last summer I wore loads of bold colors when we we're in Mykonos I couldn't wait to get dressed up and put bold colors on while on holiday and I feel like this year is going to be exactly the same so I've put this dress up from Zara um, and it was part of my Zara haul as well but I love it I went over to Dubai for some work recently and I wore this dress to shimmers through the day with flat shoes and felt really special it fits in such a nice way and again it's perfect because it has this like built-in bra with the straps so it's really flattering with the gathering detail and, and everything's just working together in a really nice way so this bold column color I think is actually really flattering if you can find the right items so definitely give that one a go from Zara I love 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 that dress it also comes in black if bold colors are just not for you quite yet and um, a bag was from ISO at first as well but there's just so many different ways you can do bold colours this season. I did like pinks and oranges together last year and it's just going to be really fun again for colours this year moving forward. So be experimental. You might find something that you actually really like. And if I was you, if you're unsure on what colours to go for, then really look up your skin type and colour online and have a look at different colours. Because myself, I'm quite pink toned, so I really, really struggle with really pinky tones or like blush colours and things like that. It just does not suit my skin tone and hair colour at all. So I try to avoid them. Whereas like greens and blues and oranges do actually really suit me. Um, but then there's a lot of colours that wash me out completely as well. So really good idea to have like a colour chart where you like see which colours work for you. Go to Pink Q, <laughs> cap some colour samples and take them home and like see which colours work for you the best before you go spending a lot of money on different colors of trends. 
Then talking of bold colours, there is also Coords which are back again for this season and bold prints. This one I absolutely love from ISO at first. I got this actually in autumn and I've kept it and continued it on through summer. I recently wore this in Dubai again as well and the blue tones together I just love. I'm such a sucker in summer for these like blues and these light blues together. So, And I actually found this, this Coord really flattering. I don't know what it is, if it's the print or what, but I feel like on my tummy it doesn't, like the shine of the fabric fabric doesn't shine in the same way as if it was just blue the print actually works in a really flattering way so if this is still available i'll link it down below as well but again there's so many cords coming out this season um and i just absolutely love this idea of like pajamas kind of cords together i feel like it looks really luxury and i loved wearing it in dubai i felt like it was really premium and there's so many good bargains with the cords that you can get this season as well then finally the one i want to speak to you about is draping i kind of touched on this already but draping gathering that kind of style is super flattering for a mid-sized body or anybody with curves anyone with a tummy or a bum it's going to be really complimentary so i actually put this outfit together again the skirt is from nasty girl i actually had like a bride hen in mind for this kind of outfit but obviously anybody can wear this i just feel like it's really special this skirt is stunning super flattering i got this one in a 14 and i actually think i could have got gone down to a 12 because it was just a little bit too loose on the stomach area i actually wore this bodysuit with it and i just felt like it was really special and this whole draping idea of luxury like whites and really draped gorgeous satin fabrics stunning for summer and feeling amazing with a tan or any event that you have this year so draping is such a big flattering trend for this year as well so i hope you enjoyed this video it was a bit different from me as i do sometimes switch on trends but i really wanted to break it down for people who maybe are a little bit scared and reluctant to go into trends and find them really unflattering this is the video for you if you want to know what trends to go for this season that are going to be flattering so thank you so much for watching if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and i will catch you next sunday bye i just want to make things right